So do you ever think to yourself, you know, someday when I have more money, more time, more whatever, then I will X. Okay. I want to confront this right now. Um, if you're not a regular listener to the channel, you might think that I'm kind of whatever. But I'm frustrated by people who want to demand that everybody else help people and they never want to do something themselves. Um, the bottom line is, if someday you say you're going to help people, then help them today. Because if you're not doing it today, you'll always find a reason not to do it then. Here's what happened. Um, so I found out about a charity that helps people with surgeries in other countries. And I shared on social media, Facebook, that I gave um, a group of people each $5 towards their surgery. Now, there was a, a large number of people. Well, it was 42 different people. I gave um, a little over $200 distributed amongst these people because that was the minimum donation for each person. And all these people had surgeries and they had needs anywhere from as low as like $50 or $100, but no higher than $1,000. And so by giving each of them something, I was able to help all of these people in some way. And I shared on Facebook and was like, hey, would 42 of my friends each give $5 to essentially match and double what I did. And I had one person heart the, the thing and then I put up a comment and said, hey, is this being shadow banned or is nobody interested in this organization? And I think one person may have liked on that. So I'm not sure if the platform was preventing people from seeing it, which I think is crappy, number one. Um, or is it that Everybody I know has zero interest in helping other people. I'm less inclined to think that, but it got me thinking about some stuff. You know, we like to talk on social media and we like to post up all these um, calls to action. But do we take action ourselves? Do we, I'm, I wasn't asking anybody to give more than they spend on their morning Starbucks run or a part of what they would spend on their fast food lunch. And if it's social media that's blocking those kind of things, what's, what really got me is, I think it was about a week or two prior to that, I had posted up a picture just, basically I put it up because I was out of the country and I wanted my kids to see it. And I had access to Wi-Fi, so I put it up on social media like, hey girls, here's a picture. And I got something like 160 some odd likes and dozens of comments within a couple of hours, because I put it up and I, I was at the beach. So I put, um, well, I'd gone back to my room. I put it up so my kids could see it, left my phone in the room, went back to the beach, was doing whatever. And then I went, I don't remember why I put social media on again. I was looking for something in particular to uh, show my husband. And there's all these notifications. And um, that really frustrated me that so many people will click that they like a picture, but people won't even like something about helping other people. So what I'm hoping is that people who see, see this video will listen to it and um, maybe try one of these things. Number one, give between 10 and, 10 and 20 bucks to a food bank. Um, a lot of the grocery stores will have little boxes or you can round up your money. I know the Rite Aid has where you can round up to give to kids' hospitals. Um, there's um, surgical, the healthcare one. I'm going to put a link in my description. It's to Watsi, W-A-T-S-I dot com. And um, maybe some of you guys will give $5 and do the match. Um, number three, uh, there's a group called... Uh, Daffy.org. And what it is, is donor advised funds. I found out about it from Heresy Financial. What they do now, I'll put a, I'm going to put an affiliate link. I don't get money from the affiliate link. I'm just telling you, I'm going to put a link in the description because what it does is it says, if you click that link, once you make a donation and I'll explain it to you, they will put $25 towards the charity of your choice and $25 towards the charity of my choice. I think it's a cool win-win. 
If you don't want to do the affiliate thing because you're like, ooh, that's icky, then Daffy.org. What it does is I give a monthly donation and that money is invested. You can pick from a variety of different things. And then you can donate the principal or the interest or a little bit of both or however you want to do it. But it's a donor advised fund. So you pick the charity that it goes to. What I like about it is I can put money in there. And when I was putting it in, I started it months ago, like March, I think. And at that time, I put it into cryptocurrencies. Um, again, I don't get the money back. This is money I am donating, but I'm donating it into a growth instrument. That's what I like. So I donated like, um, I forget how much it was, but it had grown. There was like $25 in interest that had been earned by um, the time I saw it because there was this huge spike in what I had invested in. And so I took that $25, left the principal loan, but took the $25 and donated it to my charity. So basically it created $25 that I could give to help kids in other countries get food. I love it. And you can pick charities here in the U.S. You can send it to your own church. You can send it to nonprofits here. You can send it abroad. It doesn't have to be um, someplace else. But what I love about this is we can find $5 to help people. And if you're going to give help to somebody sometime, it starts somewhere. Generosity and joy go together. When you are generous, when you help other people and get your focus off yourself, you realize how blessed you are. And then when you in turn help others and see somebody else's life improve as a result of something you did, it does something on the inside of you. I would strongly encourage you to find something outside of yourself to be a part of and to give to. Whether you can give time, talent, finances, investments. I mean, if the Daffy thing I really like because... You can put money in monthly, you can put money in one time, you can put it in periodic and let it grow for a while and forget about it and look at it and go, oh, wait, I can donate off of there and then just let it grow again. But whatever you do, find a way to, to help people other than you and your immediate circle. Find a way to make a difference in someone else's life and make someone else's life better. If you're not willing to do it now, you won't do it later.